Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's Wednesday the 5th of August, and as well as my previous video on the court ruling this morning, this brand new information has just flown into my inbox. Now, you remember I said that there were some weird goings on with the company's house filing system for the Sussex Royal Foundation, how they had filed to do a name change, then that was retracted. I've put a link in the top right hand corner of the video if you'd like to refresh your memories or if you didn't see it the first time around. Well, more information has now come out and it gets even weirder. When you Google Company's House Sussex Royal, it's there, the Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. When you actually click on the link, it's now called MWX Foundation. When you click on the filing history, you can see that on the 28th of July, the declaration of solvency was submitted and available to view on Company's House. The registered office address changed on the 29th as well. Termination of Stephen Paul H. Taylor as director. Termination of Gerald Tyrell as director. Termination of Karen Tracy Blackett as director. Termination of Stephen Martin Cooper as well as Kirsty Jackson Jones as director. The same goes for the Duchess of Sussex. She was terminated as a director on the 29th of July. Then on today's date, we have change of name notice. This document is being processed and will be available in five days. Form NE1, I will come to that shortly. And then finally, change of company name resolution on the 7th of the 1st, 2020. Now, an NE01 form is an exemption form that requires as to the use of limited on the change of name. What this form is for, you may use this form to drop limited from the company name if you are a company limited by guarantee. And remember, the Sussex Royal Foundation was a company by limited guarantee. So they are dropping the limited part of the company for MWX. And this is where it gets a little bit technical, so please bear with me. Now, private limited companies are legally required to use limited or LTD at the end of their name. A private company is exempt from the requirement of use of limited if they are a charity. But what I don't understand is why change the name when they're going through liquidation and solvency? You can certainly reuse the original name of that company once it's insolvent. You can keep that company's name after liquidation. But what I don't understand is why are they changing the name after the liquidation? The company number is exactly the same with MWX Foundation and the Sussex Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But does this mean that they're going to be trading? It makes no sense. I have tried to search on the web on how on earth a company can change their name after resolution. It's not against the rules. Those that act on behalf of administrators for a company can change the name of said company. But why are they changing it to MWX Foundation when the declaration of solvency has been submitted? If a company goes into liquidations, its assets are sold to repay creditors if they have any creditors and the business is closed down. The company remains live on company's house, but it's in a status of liquidation, which this is. The removal of that company will only get taken down from company's house after about three months after the closure of the liquidation. If the name is changed to MWX Foundation, there are legal restrictions for using the same company name or a similar company name following the liquidation of said company. Why change the name if they were going to use that name in the first place? But why change the name in the first place anyway? What it looks like to me is that they are changing the name so that they can restart their business using the new name. It's doable. 
whether it's ethical, I don't know. I do find it really, really strange that Harry and Meghan have now got their fingers in their pies of MWX Trading Limited. That was the one that was already set up, and MWX Foundation. That's two separate companies. It doesn't seem right, and to me, it seems downright dodgy. I have searched and searched and scoured the internet on whether or not there has been a precedent. There must have been, but whether or not a, an insolvent or a company in liquidation can change their name. They can because it's been done, but why it's been done, I have no idea. Are they going to revitalize and reinstate the company, which you can do providing they don't hold any debts, back into life? Is that ethical of them to do that with the Sussex Royal, the Foundation for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Do you think it's fair that they can change their name to MWX Foundation and restart the company again? What are they playing at? Rest assured, I will be watching Company House like a hawk for the next few days because this is going to be very telling on what their next steps will be. It looks a mess, to be perfectly honest, and I would honestly really appreciate your opinions on what you think is happening. As always, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.